Hey there Aries, this is Renee and uh, we're going to take a look at your reading and this time we're going to do something different. We're going to take a look at all about romance. We're going to take a look at your person, um, the person that may be coming forward for you, um, what's going on, what they would like to say. We're going to get some messages. We're also going to take a look at when this is coming forward for you. So we're going to give you a timeline, right? And then at the end, stay tuned for your angel number. Uh, because you know I'm going to deliver that angel number at the end, right? Okay, so let's get some energy for Aries. What's coming forward for Aries in April? What is all about the romance? Tell me about the romance for Aries. Okay, we have... We have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So you may be in a certain situation where there's a lot of conflict going on, okay? Um, yeah, look at this. Release your ex. It's time. The time has come to clear your energy. So it's time to let go of that ex person, that person that you've been holding on to that's just not worth your time, right? Because they just... That they're not giving you that energy that you need, that you want at the moment, right? So I feel like it's time to free yourself from that energy. It's time to let it go. It's time to know something new, right? You know what to do. Archangel Uriel, trust your inner knowledge and act upon, act upon it without delay. You know, so... You've taken a lot of time trying to work out this situation. Now it's time to release it, release it and let it go. Because you see that it's no longer serving you. It's no longer, it's kind of keeping you in this stuck place, right? It's kind of keeping you from, you know, getting that new love that you deserve. And we have by the book. 11. So 11 is very significant for you. I feel like the angels are letting you know that you have protection. Angel, The angels are telling you that you are protected. 11 is an angelic number. Okay. So you are being protected, Aries. Right. So let's get some love oracles for Aries. And I apologize for my voice. I've been doing readings all morning. So, yeah, it's it's kind of going at the moment. But just hang tight with me and we will get through this reading and uh, get the information that you need. OK, so what do we have for Aries? The cassette. Yeah, outdated thinking. There's something that you're spending too much time thinking about. And it could be that the person that you were dealing with, they had different expectations than you did. Your beliefs kind of didn't mesh, right? So and it's time to release that energy. And I feel like this ex person in your life could be a chaser. I feel like it may be a codependent relationship. Um, and there, there may be some sense of fear of being abandoned. But hey... You know, it, it's time to pursue something new. It's time to get out there and really enjoy your happiness. Really enjoy some expansion, some fulfillment. Because I feel like by releasing this energy that's no longer serving you, you're actually blocking this happiness from coming through. You're actually blocking what can be. You're blocking that true person from coming in. Okay, so it's time to release that energy that's no longer doing you any good. Okay, so that you can bring that happiness in. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get some. First of all, we're going to get some love romance oracle cards. Well, excuse me, this is the romance tarot. Let's get a message for Aries going on for Aries all relationships please a message that Aries needs to hear now if this reading resonates please like and subscribe if it doesn't resonate take a look at your other placements 
You can also take a look at your person's placements. Um, that'll give you more messages of what's going on, okay? So let's get into this. We have the five of emotions. So this is the five of cups energy. So there's definitely something that needs to be released from your life. There's something that has to go. You know, letting go of that past energy. Forgiveness is an important part of healing. Forgive yourself and those around you for mistakes of the past so that everyone can move forward. Grieving is a normal part of your life. Ask your angels or those who you love to help you move through the process quickly so that you can get back on the path to joy. Okay, just what I was feeling, you know, it's time to let go of that. And we have be open to success. Look at all the wonderful things you can do when you listen to your divine guidance. You've balanced so many different priorities and you have come out a winner. There will be a lot of recognition and praise headed your way, but don't be shy. Allow others to shower you with gratitude you deserve right so I, I feel like you know once you release this energy there's people that are going to be seeing you viewing you you know really noticing the beautiful areas that you are okay and I, I feel like you know it's time it's time for people to notice you again okay we also have the number nine the spiritual teacher there are great rewards in spending time alone. Use those moments of solitude to focus on love, the ways in which you might give to those around you. Shine your light as an example for others to follow. Seek out a spiritual mentor of your own if you feel if if life feels unfulfilled right now. Okay? So yeah, I feel like diving deep Diving deep, going within, listening to that inner voice, using your intuition. It's all going to point you in the right direction where you need to go at this time. You know, and I feel like it's just a time for you to just change your perspective on where you would like to go, where you need to go, who you'd like to be with, and what you see your life like, right? Okay, we also have celebration. This is a wonderful time in your life. Difficulties fall away and the light at the end of the tunnel is a star you can wish upon. The timing is right to make a long-term plan for a joyful future. Have faith that things are going to turn out beautifully. Okay, so beautiful, beautiful energy for you, um, Aries. Now, I feel like, you know, you are verging on something that can be completely unique to you right and and i feel like by holding on to those past energies holding on to the past is just going to bring things a lot slower than what they could be okay so let's take a look at what someone would like to say to you let's see what the messages are coming out what is this message for aries Give me a message for Aries, please. Okay. I feel you even though we're apart. Okay. I wish things could be different. I'm really getting the vibe that this ex really wants you back, but there's just a lot of communication errors, right? There's a lot of things that just aren't meshing together. I'm afraid to contact you. Oh, wow. So someone really wants to connect, but they're afraid to contact you. They're afraid to get to know you because of something that's kind of blocking their path. I know that I crossed the line with you. Okay. So there's someone that may have said something that may have struck you the wrong way. They may have got a different expression from you with something that they said and we have just being near you is intoxicating right so someone has a lot of admiration for you they really feel very strongly that your connection can build on something bigger and brighter and better and they kind of feel at a loss without you they feel like 
they feel like they wish so so much that things could be different okay and i'm not really getting that this is the past energy i'm not really getting that i'm getting that this is someone different so there may be someone that you're not expecting who is coming forward with a offer of love and acceptance right so let's get some more messages what else do we have for aries see <laughs> why can't i move on from you I'm kind of feeling like this is your energy and I don't know where to start. Hmm. Someone has very mixed emotions on moving past the situation. It may be you, it may be both of you. Um, but someone's having a lot of trouble. Someone's having a lot of trouble. I need to hold back my true feelings for you. Someone's afraid to really come forward with exactly how they're feeling. They're afraid to let you know exactly how they feel, their true feelings, right? It could be due to some childhood trauma that they went through. Um, but I, I feel like they wish they could understand the situation a little bit better. But I feel like they don't even have... A real understanding. Hmm. Let's see. Let's dive into these handmade cards. Maybe that would give us more of a understanding of what's going on with Aries. Give me a message for Aries, please. What's going on with Aries? Message for Aries, please. Message for Aries. What does Aries need to know? Ooh. Okay. We have, I will talk to you soon. I want to get to I want to get close to you but I'm dealing with other things. And we also have please forgive me. Uh, you already know the answer. We have let down your walls and be open to opportunity. And I need to tell you the truth. Okay. The last one the outcome is going to be positive. So I feel like the outcome is going to be positive in this situation. But I really do feel like you're moving on. I feel like you're moving to better things. Um, I feel like you're letting down the walls to new opportunities. And that, you know, the truth is finally going to come out in the situation. And they're going to be asking for your forgiveness, you know. But I feel like whatever this truth that comes out, I feel like you already know this. This is something that's not going to come to a surprise with you. This is something that you already have a, um, a clarity about, you know. It, it's not something that's going to be very surprising, okay. And um, let's, get, let's get an angel card. Let's see. Tell me more about this situation. What does Aries need to know? What advice do you have for Aries in this situation? Okay, we have two. Okay, we have past life. And we have silver. Okay, um, so here's the thing, Aries. I, I feel like, you know, the, the things in the past... We need to release those things, okay? We, we actually review them and um, we can actually see things better in hindsight than we can in total reality. So I feel like that's kind of what you're doing. I feel like you're kind of seeing things more clearly in hindsight and kind of reviewing, kind of um, 
seeing what may have went wrong or what may have went right and you're gaining more insight on the situation you're becoming more intuitive on the way that you feel the way that you're interacting with new people and you're also really understanding that you're actually going through this transformation you're going through this review of your past love life of your past relationships because you want them to transform into something different you don't want to replay the same cycle right so you're gaining an insight you're gaining an understanding of you know where you've been how you got here and where you're going okay so let's take a look at we're going to pull three tarot cards to see what other messages are going to come out see what other messages are going to come out for Aries. What is your next big romance? Tell me. Tell me more about the next big romance. Tell me about this. Tell me who's coming forward in April for Aries. Give me a message, please. Okay. We have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. And the Three of Wands. Definitely. Okay, so we have the moon on the bottom. So I don't believe that this person has revealed themselves to you yet. This person is still hidden. Uh, they haven't emerged. Because I feel like Spirit is waiting for you to totally release the past before you can move on to the future. But once you release the past and move on, I feel like there's a great big love that's being offered to you. There's someone new who's coming in who's very loving, caring, giving, you know, and they want to offer you their abundant heart, their true heart, you know. I feel like their heart is overflowing with love and passion for you. And it's just waiting, you know, it's waiting to be given to you. Okay, they've been patient. They may have known you for a while. They may have had their eyes on you for a while, you know, but I feel like they've been patiently waiting for an opportunity to come close. They've been waiting for this opportunity to give you this offer, right? So um, let's go ahead and get a timeline. When is this love coming through for Aries? What messages do we have? When is this love coming through for Aries, please? When will Aries feel this new offer of love? Okay. Time frame is within a few days. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow, Aries. Within a few days. Wow. So... When you release this energy of this ex, Aries, I feel like this person is standing by. They're waiting. They're just waiting for that opportune moment, right? And I feel like once they see their opportunity, they're going to jump. They're going to take the plunge. They're taking that leap of faith towards you, okay? So it's definitely in your best interest to purge and release this past energy because it's it's like holding you back from, from something new, something wonderful. Okay, let's go ahead and get your angel number. What does Aries need to hear right now? What does Aries need to hear right now? What is this angel number, please? Okay, we have one, two, three, four, persistence. Keep going. You have completed a task that is in alignment with your soul's journey. The divine is letting you know that it sees you and all of your persistence is paying off. You are being acknowledged, right? So your affirmation, Aries, I take steps to stay in alignment with my soul's journey and I reap the rewards of my persistence. Right. So beautiful message. So Aries, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And if it doesn't resonate, make sure you take a look at your other placements. They may be resonating with you more at this time. Okay. 
and many, 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 many blessings to you. Love and light. Until your next reading.